Hi, I'm Sue Shapcock and today we're going to talk about fee golf, how you can use it to improve your, your swing and your technique and if you're on one of our remote coaching programs, how we can use it together to track your improvement with some of the data that uh, fee golf gives you. Okay, so first thing is you need to uh, use your sensor that's going to be put either at the end of a regular golf club, which I've got here today, or you can use the inside version that comes with your program. Um, you're going to connect it to the app on your phone. And for today's purposes, you are going to just select the training option. And you are going to select the practice option. Okay, so while that's loading, I'm just going to secure the sensor in the end of my club. So these sensors fit into the end of any regular grip. If you have the Arco's grips, then unfortunately they don't work, uh, but otherwise you can just put it in to the uh, end of any club. Uh, okay, so I have the practice mode set up. Um, you can see here I have the option of changing the club. So I have a driver, so I'm going to keep it on there, but equally I could change it to a 5-iron if I wanted, but for today I'm just going to keep it set to the driver. Okay, it's telling me that it's ready. Okay, so very quickly some data comes up and it comes up too fast for me to really be able to do much with it. So then I'm going to go into this menu option. I'm going to click on the swing analysis and you can see here my one swing with my driver. So I'm going to click on this replay button right here. So first of all, it replays the shot for me so I can see uh, the, the flight again. And then the data is going to come up. Now this time I'm going to start clicking around on um, some of these features um, so that I can and see what my data looks like. Okay, so first thing is you can see that that club head looks really slow. It says 35.2. Um, that's because it's in um, meters per second. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to just change those data around there. So I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to pick yards. That's going to give me some better data. Okay, so go back into menu look at my swing analysis again. Okay, so when I replay this time, then it's going to give me different data um, that's going to look a little bit better to me. Alright, so if I have a look this time, I can see my club head speed and it's 78.7 miles per hour. Uh, this top graph here also shows you where the fastest part of your swing is. And you want it so that it is fastest when it hits the ball. So you can see on this right hand graph, then it builds up. And then this dip here is when it changes direction from the backswing to the downswing, and then it speeds up when I hit the ball. So that's good. The fastest part of my swing is at impact. So if I was someone who's working on trying to increase my club head speed, then I can use that baseline in my practice to see if I can get the club head better. Okay, the next one is tempo. And um, it says the ideal tempo is three, which uh, mine just happens to be there. And it's the combination of the backswing and the downswing. So you obviously want the downswing faster than the backswing. So this kind of ratio here gives you that information. So you're aiming for three. And you can also see here that three is in green. And when your numbers are in green, then that's, that's a good thing. Okay, so this next one is a club path. And um, you can see mine is minus 4.4. And you can tell from this image on the right here, if your swing path is from in to out, then the number would be positive. Mine is a negative because my swing path is from out to in. So that's not necessarily a, a good thing. 
um, but it's not too far off. If it's between zero and five, which is their kind of parameters, then it's acceptable. But um, as I keep practicing here, I'm going to try and turn that negative number into a positive number, which would indicate that my swing path is a little bit more into out. Um, this next nu number is the um, swing path. Uh, this So it just timed out there, so I'm just going to pull it back again. This next number is the face angle, and that is relative to where it was at the start. So mine is zero, which means that it's square to where it was to begin with. And that tells me that my ball is going to move with very little curvature on it. So that's, that's good. Um, and then the last angle that we, or the last piece of data that we have here is the angle of attack. And so mine is minus uh, 0.8, which is, you know, not really an, an awful big number. Um, the ideal attack angle with the driver would probably be a little bit um, positive. So you want to be hitting the ball very slightly on the upswing. Mine is negative, which tells me I'm hitting it slightly on the downswing. Um, so that would be something that I would work on with my practice too. But again, the number is green, which tells me that I'm not far off. Um, the other feature that's really nice here is I can just move this swing around here and then I can, um, I can just toggle through. So I can just toggle through what my swing looks like from a 3D perspective. So um, I can just move this um, little bar down here. So here's my back swing. And then you can see as I transition into the downswing, the club comes back a little bit more outside than when it started, which is why that um, swing path is showing me a little bit out to in instead of into out. So you can look at your swing from all different angles. That's the face on angle there and then we can also look at it from the other angle too which you know probably isn't that that useful um, but that's kind of a fun little feature to to have a look at um, you can see there that when I spend too much time looking at the data then it tells me to um, wake up uh, my sensor so the sensor does time out um, okay so let's let's hit another make another swing and see if I can change the swing path So I really tried to loop that one from the inside. So let's see if it worked. It got a round of applause from the app. So let's have a look here. So club path this time, I was able to get it more into out. So plus 2.9. So that indicates that I'm swinging into out instead of out to in. So that's a really nice big improvement there. Um, the base angle you can see is minus 3.5. Now when it's minus that means that it's close to um, its original position so this time my club face is closed so the ball's probably going to spin a little bit to the left and that's very normal for me so minus 3.5 tells me that the club face is closed and my angle of attack is more on the up so that's a good thing and that goes inextricably with more of an into out swing path so I was able to swing up on the ball a little bit more this time. So that was good. All right, let's give it one more go. So I really wanted to focus on speed with this and I was able to increase my club head speed that quick bit of bit of data showed me 80.7 miles per hour and if you have a look at all three of them listed there you can see that my club head speed is faster with that last one. Um, the ball seemed to start left and go further left so when we have a look at the um, data we'll be able to figure out why. So um, club head speed faster 80.7 um, 
the club face angle a negative number means it's closed so my club face is a little bit closed it's outside of those five degree parameters and the club path is out to win that's a negative number two so I had a little bit of a um, left swing with a closed club face which is why the ball went left and further left if I have a look at my swing here then um, I still have that hitch which I know my uh, club path was out to win but my my takeaway is a little bit on the inside so it always looks a little bit like that anyway um, relative to the takeaway okay so as you can see in three swings I was able to um, change my swing path I was able to increase my club head speed um, I could change my um, angle of attack as well so this app and this technology gives you something very tangible that you can look at when you're practicing if you know what it is that you're trying to change in your swing so I'd highly recommend using it as a practice tool um, it's really helpful for me as a coach to um, give you some something to set your goals with so it might be increasing your club head speed it might be changing your swing path uh, might be changing your club face um, alignment at, at impact so it's a really useful tool that you can use during the winter or any time to help you improve your golf game okay thanks for watching i hope that was helpful i'll leave some links in the description so you can um, follow up if you want to get a free golf or you want to know more about our remote coaching programs um, and please check out some of our other videos that you can watch to help you improve your golf game.